Hey guys, it's Hunter. I'm back again with another video. As a lot of you hopefully saw, you saw the um, Imperial Hover Tank or the Occupier hatch modification. And this video I kind of based off that along with, I've watched a channel a lot recently called Rebel Builder. He designs his own TIE Strikers uh, or different TIE variances as well as he uh, changes the color on a lot of existing sets such as the Jedi Interceptors, X-Wings, and uh, stuff like that. But, so that inspired me to do my own version, so we have a Y-Wing here, and I thought, uh, along with the set coming out, what would be really cool to do is a blue X-Wing, because blue is my favorite color, and then on top of that, you know, because Rex is a timer in Light of the Rebellion, I thought it would be perfect that, why not make Rex's personal Y-Wing, you know, the Y-Wings kind of originated in the Clone Wars, so, you know, he's really comfortable with that ship, and why not give him his own ship, because it'd be cool. So... As you see, like, if this were to be a quote-unquote set, uh, maybe it would come with a couple more figures, but it would be, I have my custom Captain Rex Rebels and this Astromech unit, and then the blue Y-Wing. I really like it, and I thought, why not do a video on it? It turned out well. I went through several variations of how much color I put on. Actually, what I did is I stripped of the yellow, threw on a whole bunch of blue, and then pulled some blue back. There are several ideas that I had in the beginning that I wanted to keep and other ideas that came and went as I built. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna get right into it because I think this is one of my better creations even though it's not, it's just modifying a set. I still think it turned out really nice and it, it's one of my better projects. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're just gonna get right into it, talk about a little bit of the detailing. As pretty much what's obvious is I did strip away all the yellow and replace it with blue, but you probably noticed, especially really over here, and even the back if you saw it a little bit, I added blue. Uh, I shared it on Instagram and some people thought I should just modify the color, you know, where the yellow was and be done with it, but I thought, you know, just to put a little bit more to it, make you know, a little bit more of a video, I thought I added my own areas because it's not just like a blue leader or blue squadron y-wing like i said it's rex's personal x or y-wing my bet so i think there would be a little bit more coloration to it so obviously right up front all the yellow stripped away i originally actually had these flaps in blue too but then it just it was too much i started to look at it from a distance and it just kind of all blurred together but what i really liked is i didn't have any just plain blue one by three tiles but i have a I think five or six of the ATRTs. So I put this on the with the 501st sticker on it. And I was hesitant because I'm like, would he really mark it? Would they mark it? Because, you know, not around anymore. But then I was like, I like it. Kind of give it like an homage or a tribute to his own clone, but clone battalion. So I decided to leave that on there. It's, it is on both sides. I think uh, it's just a nice little bit of detailing. So it's not just solid blue. Uh, you know, as much as I think we all hate stickers, we do like the detail they provide. If you move to the back of the ship, or more of the, like the body, the engine area, I bought uh, two of the Bugatti sets, just because I was looking for some of these smaller uh, curved parts. It was just easier for me to do. And there's the new one. It's this piece, or the curve right here. Hopefully it'll focus a little bit. That curve, but um, as you can see, you know, it... It uh, chips in, and I really like the look of that. So I put that uh, right here in the front in the open spaces. Originally, I also had these blue, but when I put those in, I took that out because, again, too much blue. As you saw there, I have blue there. Blue there, just a little bit more accents within the engine. And then I really like this was actually a last, like one of the last things I did, the two squares on top. Um, like I said, I like, you know, when they have, like, the uh, jumper bricks without anything on it, but I really like the look of those two little blue squares. And then, really finally, on the in very, very back, I have just blue cheese slopes that go around. All the cheese slopes that you put on the end here, I replace with blue. I know it's not a lot, and some people may even find it, you know, it just doesn't work to some people. For me, I loved it. It was actually one of my first ideas for modifying it outside of the coloration was to get blue on these end caps of where the engines are. But that's just me. Then you'll notice where the yellow, I didn't get any blue for this. I'm thinking if I were to take more time, you know, really order more stuff in, I would change this to blue and maybe that to black or leave it. But um, I just wanted, to, this one I wanted to put out quickly and the dark gray, I think just works very well with it. But anyways guys, we'll end off the video. 
and let's get going. So there you have it guys, there's my uh, Captain Rex's personal Y-Wing. I really like that I did jump outside of the just changing the color from yellow to blue. I did add in more details. I do think making it uh, Rex's personal Y-Wing does work well into the Star Wars lore and story because he does know the Y-Wing from back in the Clone Wars where they did originate kind of. So I think if he were to have his own personal ship within the Rebellion, it would be a Y-Wing. Uh, something else I actually wanted to mention before I did uh, end the video was that I only use sets for this build. Now, I know a lot of people are like, Hunter, just order on Bricklink. But due to my situation, I can get sets cheaper. So this set, all, all it is to modify this set is uh, the X-Wing, the X-Wing Microfighter, Resistance X-Wing Microfighter, the Bugatti. I picked up the Microfighter U-Wing and then obviously the Y-Wing set. All those were pieces I used. Uh, the y And then if you have, like I said, if I had this piece in blue, I would have made it blue. I just didn't want to take the time. I didn't want to, you know, wait a couple days, you know, pay some money just to order in a part that I think the gray worked well, to, or dark gray comp complemented well. But otherwise, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, subscribe. This is some of my better work i described even though it's just taking a set lego made and modifying it and changing the color i still think it's one of my nicer cleaner pieces of work so please comment below what you think about that sticker too i like it i you know like i was saying i liked it i didn't like it but let me know what you think of it guys have a nice day